Meet your new royal obsession, Princess Sophia of Sweden. How the new princess is shaking up the royal style game. She's a reality star? Yeah, I know she's royal. <laughs> Hawaiian shirts, fanny packs, Bermuda shorts. Which dad inspired trends we love and others not so much? Maybe just on vacation in Hawaii. And we spy itsy bitsy bikinis. Why this is the swimsuit all the it girls are wearing. If a bikini can unleash superpowers <laughs> me, I want it. Plus, we have your definitive summer trend checklist. It's all ahead on We Spy Style. Hi everyone, welcome to the show. I'm Allison McNamara. This week I have two amazing guests. First up we have fashion and beauty blogger Mariana Hewitt Hello. from Life With Me. Hello. And also joining is designer, lifestyle expert, and now author, Mr. Kate. Thank you guys for being here. Yay. Both repeat offenders. You guys have both been here before. Yes. yes. Thank you. So before we dive in, Mariana, you just revamped your site, Life With yes, Me. Tell us about I did. that. So my my site is called Life With Me Now. So it's all about my life with me. So you can follow like my hashtags are like travel with me, eat with me, beauty with me so you can do all these different aspects of my life. And you have a book which I have right here. I do. A hot glue gun mess, funny stories, pretty DIY projects. Very yeah. cute. So tell cute. us about it. These stories are funny and very revealing. I saw something about a tampon in here. Oh my gosh, all of my most embarrassing moments ever <laughs> are in that book. I love it. And they're all paired with DIY projects, which of course I love to do. Well, you guys gotta check that out and check out her site too. All right, so Father's Day is obviously coming up, and while we were talking about what to get our dear old pops, it dawned on us. When did our style start emulating our dad so much? So we may not have the answer to that question at the moment, but what we can do is vote on a few of the trends in question today in You've Been Flagged. So grab your flags. So first, Hawaiian shirts. Dads love them. Style bloggers love them. Red or green flag. Yeah. I know, I'm gonna do this. I oh, like really? them. I mean, I, I love them. I, I definitely am like a slouchy. I shouldn't wear slouchy clothes because I'm five foot one, mm -hmm. but I just love slouchy, comfy clothes, so I'm guilty. Okay, why do you red flag it? So Hawaiian shirts I don't really love because I feel like it's maybe only for your time when you're on vacation in Hawaii. I bought one that was vintage, Yeah. tried to wear it, didn't look as cute as her, so I'm gonna yeah. red flag it. All right, the next dad <laughs> trend, fanny packs, chic, or weak, red or green flag. I'm gonna go, oh my gosh, it's awesome day. I'm like, yeah. Okay, so why are you red flagging? Okay, so, well, I just cannot wear them. I have like a big caboose, and if I am adding like, to like, the front, it's yeah. just like a, it's like a, it's just <laughs> I really like them, but only situationally. Like, if you're mm -hmm. going to Disneyland, or you're going to Coachella, and you don't wanna carry a bag, you can just have like your things with you and not have to worry about carrying a bag. Mm -hmm. But only in times like that. I wouldn't say it's like an everyday yeah. kind of accessory. Yeah. I ditto on that, exactly. Uh, um, next up, Bermuda shorts. They've been making a big comeback. Red or green flag for them? Red flag. Yeah, I'm way too short. I just, I can't pull yeah. off that length. Yeah, I can't pull it off either, but I really appreciate it. I, I yeah. wish I was tall. They look good on trendy people. Yeah. Oh, like, yeah. Like tall, model off duty. Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> All right, the next one. Red or green flag for that ribbed sweater. I love these. On dads and on daughters. I love these. What do you think? Oh no! I don't know. I just feel like you like, like slouchy. Like, I do like slouchy, but I don't like thick slouchy. I like uh, thin slouchy. That's just too thick. I feel like tubular, like a tire. Like adding to your just frame. yeah. I, I like wanna. these. I like them a lot with like something fitted though. Like if you were with like mm. a little skirt underneath or yeah. some fitted pants, so you can have like bulky on top, bulky on bottom. But if it's mixed with a different bottom, I like them. Yeah, yeah. You definitely can't do this with like the boyfriend jean. Like she's kind of wearing a yeah. slouchy jean. That's hard to pull off. But yeah, if you're wearing like a super skinny jean and you have yeah. like covering over so your legs look really thin. Um, I'm okay with okay, that. Okay. Great check. <laughs> All right, well, you can put these down. Over the past few years, Kate Middleton has become a household name. She's even the most searched celebrity on Pop Sugar. But there's a new princess in town, mm -hmm. Princess Sophia of Sweden. Have you guys heard about her? It's heard? okay if you haven't. I have okay. heard, but not seen. No. Okay, you I have actually haven't her. heard about her. You haven't? Oh, no. I have oh no my issues. God. <laughs> well, get ready because you're about to see her everywhere. Here's more. Is Princess Sophia your new royal style crush? Well, step aside, Kate Middleton. There is a new princess in town, and she's giving the Brits a run for their money in the style envy department. Sophia Helkovis married the hunky Prince Carl Philip on June 13th, and all eyes were on her and that gorgeous wedding gown. Sophia's gown was created by Swedish designer Ida Hofstad and was made of crepe and silk organza, along with handmade lace by Joseph Maria Ruiz. And look at that tiara. It was actually a gift from King Carl XVI Gustav and Queen Sylvia. We have to admit, her dress does kind of remind us of Kate's royal wedding moment, but Sophia has got style that's all her own. Sophia does have the royal thing down. We've seen her in show-stopping ball gowns, but dare we say she's the edgiest princess yet? You be the judge. Here are some fun facts about Sophia's past. Did you know that Sophia used to model? And not just a catalog model, 
title, think the Swedish version of Maxim. She was crowned Miss Slits in 2004 by the Swedish men's magazine. She's also a reality star. Sofia took her turn on the small screen for season one of the 2005 reality show Paradise Hotel, where she showed a whole lot of skin. And Sofia's got ink and piercings. Now, normally this wouldn't even be a point of discussion, but it's rather rare that royals have tattoos. One of her tattoos was actually visible on her wedding day. That's not the only tradition she's breaking. She also lived with her man prior to getting engaged. It's pretty clear that Princess Sophia of Sweden is quickly becoming the most relatable royal out there. So you guys didn't know about her before. What do you think? She's really pretty, but she kind of hit the jackpot. She was a reality star. Yeah, <laughs> yeah she's a royal. Reality to royal. She That's really the crazy. Yeah. I'm sure we'll see plenty of Sophia and Carl in the future. Fingers crossed for another royal baby because I think they'd make a very cute one. Yeah. So now we already mentioned that Father's Day is this Sunday, but did you also know that this weekend marks the official start to summer? Oh. Did you guys know that? Yes. Oh, no. So what better way to prep than rounding up our top trends for summer that every it girl, probably including these two ladies here, will be wearing. Make sure to take notes. Grab a bucket bag, a bandana, and start channeling your inner Jane Birkin. Consider this your 2015 summer trend checklist. One, say hello to the 70s. Try loading up on all things camel and tan. If it's suede, even better. Eyelid fringe and denim are all welcome. Bell bottoms and flared leg pants are definitely worth a test drive. Plus, they're super flattering. And the A-line button-down skirt is an absolute must. Just take a look at Alexa Chung, Kiara Fernangi, and Rumi Neely. Two, add a bandana. We've covered this trend several times, so clearly it's here to stay. Add a western necktie to dresses and button-downs. And the best part, these are so inexpensive. Number three, go gaga for lace-up sandals. Our love for these started with the Michael Kors 2015 runway and is still going strong thanks to our Instagram feed. Try a pointy toe flat pair or get stacked in this great pair by Zara. Now, if you splurge on a Monster Gavriel bucket bag, you made the right choice. Number four is dedicated to the bucket bag, which is still reigning the purse world. Luckily, the trend has been around for a while, so you can snag some chic, lower-priced options at Forever 21. And five, the cold shoulder. Off-the-shoulder outfit Outfits are popping up everywhere on everyone. They're sexy, sweet, and feminine all at the same time. Plus, they're perfect for beating the summer heat. You got all that? Now go get shopping. So what trends are you guys both obsessing over right now? I really like a lot of the ones that you just showed. I love all the suede. Mm -hmm. And I like suede and white together. I think oh, it's like so a cheap. really great combo. And they have a ton of it at Zara right now. So I just like stocked up on some things. And the top shop too. Yeah, so I, I was I at Zara too. I got these like suede <laughs> shoes. I love them. What about you? Well, I like what you're wearing. The, the orangey lipstick. Oh, thanks. Mm -hmm. I'm like, what about that? <laughs> no, I think that that's so it's like a twist on red lipstick. Like mm -hmm. I love that fresh orange. It's fun because it's still like a bright color. Yeah. For me, I want those pointy flats. I haven't bought any yet, but I'm so too. obsessed with them. So those are good ones. Yeah, we, we can't talk summer trends though without mentioning bikinis, obviously. Yeah. Well, there's a new swimsuit that is dominating bikini season. Check it out. Say hello to maybe the best bikini ever, bikini. We've spotted these colorful crochet creations on stylish ladies like Dre Hemingway, Hannah Bronfman, fashion blogger Something Navy, and our own fashion editor, Hannah Weil McKinley. According to the brand, their bikinis are supposed to unleash superpowers such as supreme positivity. And with these hot little suits and bright color combos, it's hard not to smile. If a bikini can unleash superpowers on <laughs> me, I want it. Yeah. Because I wear a bikini every day. <laughs> yeah, I feel a little depressed when I have a bikini. What do you guys think about the crochet? I feel a lot of bikinis now are just not really made for swimming. They're mm. made for looking. So yeah. it looks really great. I haven't tried them yet, but they're really pretty. Yeah, yeah totally. Pretty. What do you love? Because I know you're always like traveling places, like yeah. Thailand, all these fun places. I really like Miko swimsuits. They're oh, yeah. just like really simple, plain bikinis. Um, and then I mix and match all of the tops together. So, mm -hmm. and then I always try to wear a strap of so I don't have like lots of tan lines. Well, for those of you that tan, yeah. well, I want to leave you guys with a fun fact about these bikinis. They're actually all handmade, Aww. so no two of them are alike. Very that's artisanal, really cool. right? That is really cool. Well, that's a wrap on We Spy Style. Always a blast with you guys. Thanks for coming Thank back. You. Make sure to check out Mariana's site, lifewithme.com, and <laughs> grab your copy of Mr. Kate's new book, A Hot Glue Gun Mess. Also, let us know if you feel like you're starting to dress like your dad. Your thoughts <laughs> on the bikini, and if you're as obsessed with Princess Sophia as we are. Leave a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you later. Bye.